If you are tired of your feet and ankle giving you so many problems when you're walking or when you're out adventuring because of arthritis, I want to show you my top five favorite exercises that you can do to finally find relief so they aren't limiting your adventures anymore. Let's get started. Your feet and ankles are so important, especially when you're out adventuring. When you're walking, especially on uneven surfaces, your feet and ankles can get kind of angry, especially when you have arthritis. Two of the best ways that you can help combat this pain and really tackle this arthritis is by improving the mobility and the strength of the joints in your feet and ankles and also those little tiny muscles. We wanna make sure that those are working how they should be. These five exercises are going to help improve the way that your feet and ankles move and make them feel stronger so you feel more confident. When we get started, you're gonna need a couple of things. First, you're gonna need a hand towel. So just a smaller towel. A washcloth is going to be likely too small though. So if you can find a smaller hand towel, that would be perfect. And then you're gonna need one of these loop resistance bands. If you don't have these, or you want the exclusive Keep the Adventure Alive ones, there's a link below to purchase those. But these are so versatile and are going to help us strengthen both our feet and ankles super easily at home. All right, let's get started with these five exercises. Your arch is the one of the most important parts in your foot, especially supporting you when you're walking. So this first exercise is going to help us strengthen these muscles and support the arch so we don't have a fallen or a flat foot. For this first one, you're gonna keep all toes in contact with the ground. And this is called a toe or foot doming. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to make an arch keeping all your toes on the ground, especially that big toe, it's gonna wanna come up. So you're gonna try to make that arch, hold about three to five seconds and then come back down. You should feel these muscles really start to kick in here and that's gonna help us strengthen this arch. I would do about 10 to 12 of these, and the good thing about all of these exercises is you can do them very easily just sitting in a chair while you're working, while you're watching TV, whatever it may be. But try about 10 to 12 of these. If both of your feet are bothering you, do it on both feet. But this is going to help really strengthen that arch to help prevent things like plantar fasciitis and also give your foot the strength it needs to support you walking longer distances. For this next one, we're gonna bring out the resistance band. And what I want you to do is put it around your feet at kind of the outsides of your feet about halfway down. Now, what you're going to do is you're just going to keep your heels and feet in the same position but you're going to bring them out. So you're gonna turn your feet out. That's gonna work these muscles on the outsides of your calves and lower legs, because these are important, because what these muscles do is they come all the way down and they come into your foot. Your muscles in your foot are really small. These, you probably don't need very many until you start to feel it. So I would say do anywhere between eight to 10 of these. And one of the things I want you to focus on is as you're pulling them out, hold for two to three seconds and then slowly bring them back to straight. Pull out and then slowly bring them back to straight. So do between eight to 10 of these, hold for two to three seconds and then slowly come back in. Okay, this is one of my favorites. So number three, you're gonna grab that hand towel and you're gonna spread it out. Now this is best done on a wood floor or a slippery floor surface. But what you're gonna do is step on the towel at the very end so all five of your toes are on the towel. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to scrunch with your feet and toes. You're gonna scrunch that towel and I want you to try to get it so it's all the way scrunched, so now you're at the end. Use those toes, grab and scrunch and move it closer to you. And then once you do that, once we reach the end, then I want you to flick it out. This one can be a little bit trickier, but flick it out 
and then repeat. So I'll show you again. Toes on the end, and I'll show you from the front view this time if you can get a better look here. You're gonna grab and scrunch, grab and scrunch, grab and scrunch. This is working all of these little tiny muscles on the inside of your foot. So grab it and scrunch all the way to the end. Once you get to the end, you're going to then try to flick it away. Flick it away. So you're essentially bending your toes, digging in and pushing out. This one is best done when you can keep your foot on the ground and just use your toes. So try not to lift your foot up at all. Try to keep your foot on the ground and just engage these toes. I would do this about three to five times through, starting out at three, because this can be pretty challenging to begin with. So we want to make sure that we're using these small muscles in our toes, but make sure we're not overdoing it. So start out slow with, the, with about three repetitions. One repetition is scrunch it in and then flick it out. Start there and then work your way up. Like I said, it's gonna be easier on a slippery surface like a wood or a tile floor. And I usually like to do this one in sitting because when we're in standing, it's a lot easier to use our the rest of our foot. So we really want to isolate these toes and work these muscles. Now, number four, the resistance band comes back. So what you're going to do is put the resistance band right around the ball of your foot. So right underneath your toes, right on the ball of your foot. And then you're gonna pull up with your hands and give a little bit of resistance. Now what I want you to do, this one is about slow and controlled. So you're gonna push your foot down so it is straight and then you're gonna slowly lift it back up. One of the things I want you to try to avoid is try not to arch your toes as you do this. So try to push down and then slowly come back up. Push down and slowly come back up. You should feel your shin muscles start to engage. Your toes may extend a little bit, but we just don't want you to really use those toe extensors for right now. So slow, this is working to support the muscles for the ankle and slow and controlled on the way up. I would do anywhere between 10 to 12 of these. Start with a lighter resistance and then you can work your way up. But we want that control on the way back up. So this last one is called a toe splay. And what you're going to do, you don't need any equipment for this one. All you're gonna do is you're gonna just lift your foot up so your foot toes are off the ground and you're just gonna spread your toes as far as you can. So you're gonna spread your toes, just lift it straight off the ground and splay them, spread them out as wide as possible. This is gonna help with mobility in your foot also, while we're here in the mobility realm, one other thing you can do is just simply taking your big toe. So your big toe is extremely important for walking, especially as you're pushing off. So when we lose mobility here, that can cause a problem. So it's simply just taking your big toe and you can just relax and just move it. You're gonna take it through the full range of motion. Now I have a lot of toe motion, don't be afraid, don't be worrisome if you don't have this range of motion. But you're gonna take it to the full range, bend it as far as you can, and then bring it up as far as you can. Bend it and bring it up as simple as it sounds, especially if you have pain or problems with your big toe, moving it to the end range can be really important to bring blood flow to that joint. So this one you can do as often as you'd like, especially if your big toe is bothersome, bringing it to that end range is really going to help bring some blood flow to that joint. 
So now you have seen the five exercises that you need in order to help your foot and ankle arthritis. If this was helpful, I would love it if you would click that red subscribe button below so you can get updates when I do release new videos. With foot and ankle arthritis, balance is also extremely important. And which balance exercises should you be doing? Great question. So we have a free five day arthritis friendly exercise challenge. So it's gonna be five workouts that you can do and balance is a huge part of it. So if you click the link below, you will see how to sign up for that free challenge so you can get moving today. Thanks for watching, have a good one.